This next comedian is, uh, it's not fair, he is a teacher, and I feel bad for all the students, and you'll see why. Give it up for the amazing Bradley McDonald! Thanks for playing my signature song. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we've had, we have an issue here. <laughs> the chord. Hoping tonight would go well, but we got this fucking shit happening. Can't get it out. Can I get a bit more reverb? That's perfect. <laughs> Heard a study recently. Wait, do it again. But no, put it on. It's perfect. Here comes my first job. Get ready to laugh. <laughs> Fucking shit! This fucking bullshit! I can't get the cord out! Okay, take the reverb down, take it down, take it down, and put it back up, and put it back the fuck up. Oh, I came to the show, I didn't want anyone to fuck with me, but my purse got knocked over by the cord. Another cisgendered, straight white guy fucking shit up. I'm so sorry. My name is also Brad Great. People come to comedy shows hoping that a straight white guy named Brad won't show up. And here I am. I'm so sorry. It's not kind. It's not kind. It's like $500 in there. Heard a study recently that if you force yourself to smile for over 30 seconds, it releases a chemical that makes everyone around you wonder what the fuck is wrong with your face. <laughs> Three, two, one. Heard another study about masturbation. Oh, great. Straight white guy talking about masturbation. What a true and distinctive and original artist. I heard a study, though, that men who are caught masturbating as young boys tend to be quiet later on in life um, when they're having sex with their partner because I guess there's some, like, residual guilt and shame involved. But I disagree with this study because I was often caught masturbating when I was young by my parents. And when I'm with a woman, I'm very vocal. I'll say sexy things like, Dad, close the door! <laughs> Mom, I'm just reading! And usually at that point, the woman will say, please stop. And as I do, as I do, I say, you sound just like my parents. <laughs> I'm from Nova Scotia. A lot of people from Nova Scotia have strange expressions. My father in particular has a very strange expression. And I want to say this, it's like, I want to have some trigger warnings here. It's like, it's a, it's, it's a sexist expression, it's not good. But uh, my father's a kind man, I just want to prepare people for this. My father has a very strange expression. If someone's a good and kind and hospitable host, my father will say that person really put out. <laughs> just to clear the air, just to set you at ease, um, I'll explain this further. My father went with, once went on a, a vacation with my mother for the weekend. And he came back and he said, do you want to know who really put out this weekend? And I said, no. And he said, the entire staff of the Holiday Inn Express really put up. Great service. It's not even worth a disclaimer, I'm so sorry. Um, my father is a very kind and, and a very sort of like kind of sincere and sensitive man. Um, I was always a very neurotic child, very, very uh, sensitive and obsessive and anxious. And I remember he would always be kind to me in moments where he could have made fun of me. And it was amazing. It was amazing. I'll give you one of these examples. I was like nine years old, and we're going down the highway in Nova Scotia. Um, he, we both had ice cream cones. It was like a, a summer day, and he was driving. It was a great time with my father. I was nine years old. And some of the ice cream dropped onto my crotch. I know. 
It's gonna, the guy who just said, oh no, it's gonna go to that place. <laughs> I dropped onto my crotch. I'm trying to get the ice cream off my crotch. I don't wanna, I'm just gonna look away from all of you. I feel embarrassed with this whole joke. Uh, it drops onto my crotch. I'm trying to get the ice cream off my, cr my crotch. Eventually I take my pants tent. I'm nine years old. I don't know what's happening. And I put the pants tent filled with ice cream into my mouth. <laughs> it's at this point that my father looks over and he sees this happening. He could have said anything. He could have been like a mean motherfucker in this moment. He could have freaked out. Because I have the pants tent filled with ice cream in my mouth and here's what my dad said. He looks over and he says, Ooh, Brad, bud. Maybe don't. <laughs> it's like the most persuasive fucking thing I've ever heard in my life, you know? Like, I immediately took my head on my crotch, went back into the arms of morality. You know, let's be honest, like, licking ice cream off your crotch might be a high point in my life. You know? But ooh, Brad, bud, maybe don't. I'm sorry, I, I feel like I've been, just been spitting on the same guy. Like, wherever I am in the room, I'm spitting on that one guy. Ooh, Brad, bud, maybe don't. You know, like, I, what I like about it is, like, it's, it's persuasive for a few reasons that we don't see on Facebook where everybody attacks everybody. Like, I feel like what's so good about it, I'll explain it to you. Like, it, it, shows, it shows, like, a danger. Ooh. It shows warmth. Brad, bud. <laughs> <laughs> and it gives me a choice, right? Maybe don't. <laughs> like, I could have continued. It would have been awkward, but I could have continued. You know, to this day, I feel like that's so persuasive. Like, you could stop wars with that. You know, like, ooh, Kim Jong-un, supreme leader of North Korea, possible creator of nuclear Armageddon, but maybe don't. <laughs> And he'd be like, oh, I never thought of it that way. Okay, I won't do it. Thank you. Um, where am I? I've lost all control. I'm a teacher. Have I talked about that yet? Marijuana is a horrible drug. Don't do it. It just makes you feel amazing. Um, I'm a teacher. I used to say, uh, I teach at a Sejak, which is like between... Uh, between um, high school and university, and I, I used to say where I teach, but I don't anymore because of the masturbation jokes I'm doing up here. Um, but I... <laughs> that was a sarcastic laugh. I teach um, English literature to 17 and 18 year olds. I went on RateMyTeacher.com recently. RateMyTeacher.com is a horrible place to go as a teacher. I shouldn't go there. And here's what one student wrote. This is real. One student wrote, he's, al he's, al he's always tired. He always, he's always sick. He always stinks. That's what this guy wrote. It's like at 4 a.m. I'm drunk on whiskey. I'm like, oh, I'm doing well in my career. No, I'm not. He's always sick. He's always tired. He always stinks. And like, I can't reply to it. I want to keep my integrity. But like, what I'd like to do is reply as like a student in the class, just replying to another student, and just say to this guy who said he's always tired. Yeah, he's always sick. He always stinks. Just like reply in some way and just say like, hey, listen. You know, maybe he was always tired and stinky because he was trying so hard to help us learn, and everybody was on their Instagram. Meanwhile, he's trying to teach us about the wonders of 19th century literature, a robust and important time in art, fellow student. <laughs> Furthermore, <laughs> I noticed between he's always sick, he's always tired, he always stinks, you put commas, that's known as a comma splice, you can't put commas in, in between independent clauses. That's something you would have known had you gone to our teacher's well-informed and well-organized running workshop, Josh, you piece of shit! <laughs> Fuck you, Josh! <laughs> Guys, I'll wrap it up here. Uh, you guys are awesome. This is a great show. Thank you to Dion for putting all of it on. This guy's okay. um, I once got uh, heckled. Heckled by a very drunk. Once got heckled by a very drunk, very angry woman. What was interesting about her heckle is I thought to myself, hey, her heckle might make a better punchline for the joke I was telling at the time. So let's try this as an experiment to use her heckle as my punchline. Tell me how this goes. So I was listening to the news recently, and I heard a fascinating story about EAT SHIT! <laughs> <laughs> That's great writing. Thank you very much, I'm Robert Dahl. <laughs>